A short play depicting conflict between family members over a piece of arable land ends in a traditional hug and a handshake before actors exit the stage. The play highlights just one of many issues which are a source of conflict in South Sudan, a country marred by political, social and economic unrest. In the play, families quickly resolve their differences because the sons from both families say they have grown up together as brothers and will not fight each other. Marking this year's International Youth Day in South Sudan's capital Juba, a day-long event which attracted close to 200 youth, so those present applaud the skit. During the day, various side events showed a handful of youth showcased their work at an exhibition alongside various United Nations agencies, which highlighted their work for the benefit of participating youth. As you can see here, youth are trying to demonstrate their potentials through ICT, information technology, uh, through creative art, through music, dance and cultural performances, uh, through literary work and all sorts of innovations here. So we believe the idea is that as we see, we want to project that if you can see that there's a good number of young people who are actually advocating peace other than the passive uh, tradition that young people are architects of violence. Celebrated world over on August 12th, South Sudanese youth mark their National Youth Day event on August 16th around the theme Youth Building Peace, celebrating young people's contribution to peace building. Speaking after she showcased the Go Girls initiative to guests, co-founder Yine Yenki Nika called on South Sudanese youth to be change agents. You can share your own What I can tell every South Sudanese, every youth out there, girl and boy, is we need to change our attitude. If we are to build a better South Sudan, it all starts with us. The small thing you can do, do it for your community. The small thing you can do, do it for your country. The small thing you can do, do it for your for your neighbor. The Go Girls ICT initiative are winners of a Youth Innovation Challenge for Peace, which was organized by United Nations Development Program in 2016. They came in third in a competition aimed at engaging youth. With low numbers registered at the event, participating youth present said they were encouraged. Our young people should forget about violence, but rather take part in peaceful initiative that will develop this country to a better South Sudan. We have our right. If they are there, they are just sleeping. They are not giving people. They are, they are not building people with peace in South Sudan. Let them start. Let them start wake up from their sleeping. If they are sleeping down, let them start telling people about a good about to be in, in unity, peace, let them live to abolish him. This day makes an important day. It actually changed my mind a little bit and uh, it actually give way to, to peace. Rallying the youth to focus on developing their country, the National Minister of Education, Deng Deng Hock, challenged the youth to shun tribalism and be agents of peace. When youth become peacemakers, we will definitely have peace in the country. So we have a huge opportunity because the majority of our people are youth. And youth have the energy, they have the creativity, they have the drive and the enthusiasm to make change. The change we need now is to have peace throughout the country. A senior UN official representing the United Nations Population Fund, which is the lead UN body involved in commemorating the day, called on the youth to turn off the conflict in South Sudan. The youth actually hold a critical role in ending the conflict in South Sudan, but also in propagating peace and development in this country. So my call to the key actors in all this is that we need more participation and engagement of youth 
in the conflict negotiation processes and in the conflict decision processes, as well as involving them in implementation of some of the decisions that will have been reached. My call to the youth is they hold the key to turn off this conflict. Whether it is actual engagement in the battlefield, whether it is propagating the hate speech and the ethnic tensions between the different tribes, they are more to propagate it through youth using the social media. So youth are central in peaceful existence in South Sudan. For participating youth like Christine Pony, Moni Tabitha and Omoti Odiel, this Youth Day event has encouraged them to raise their community participation while hoping to encourage other youth in their country to be change agents, knowing that, as a UN member state, Resolution 2250 urges for the inclusive representation of youth in decision-making at all levels and also calls for their participation and views to be taken into account. <laughs>